there have been some cold mornings in the winter of 09, but horses take to it much better than humans. And Candyman Slough, seen here, was feeling good on Tuesday, March 10th. The Larry Wolf trainee picked up his maiden victory late in the 2008 meeting. Joel, Candyman Slough. Candyman Slough wins by four and a half lengths. Hickory Row got a clear second. Gold Dakota third, wide on the track fourth. Soggy Bottom is part of Howard Belvoir's large stable once again this season. The six-year-old stretch runner has been an Emerald Downs regular and, like Belvoir, is from Idaho. This striking gray mare is Mrs. Tiz, the 2008 winner here at Emerald Downs and at Portland Meadows. The Charles Essex trainee is a cow bred by C's Tizzy. Jennifer Whitaker earned newfound fame and fortune that came as a Long Acres Mile winner. She, the first female mile winning jockey aboard Wasserman last summer at Emerald Downs. Her fun run didn't conclude at the end of the meeting either. It went all the way to the new year in January at the PI Sports Star of the Year Banquet, where Whitaker was one of the honored nominees. The PI Sports Star Banquet dates back to 1935 and the winners are a who's who of the most accomplished Northwest-based performers. To be a nominee is a very high honor in itself, and Whitaker was a worthy representative of her sport. Before the festivities officially started, Whitaker mingled with notables, other nominees, and, of course, her two biggest supporters, parents Bob and Mary Ann Whitaker. We're used to seeing Jennifer with some dirt on her face after a Wasserman victory, but not on this night. Looking good, Jay Witt. As the track's all-time winningest female rider, she's had some good seasons at Emerald Downs, but 2008 is one that'll stand out. Oh, I won't ever forget it. I mean, the, you know, when 08 went out and 09 was coming, I was like, what am I gonna do now? I've already done, you know, I've had the best season I've ever had, and all I can do is try and at least do that good, or, you know, always wanna do better, but at least try and try and get there, you know? Four stakes wins for a horse at one meeting is outstanding. That ties the Emerald Downs record, by the way. But to win them all in photo finishes, that's storybook stuff. Whitaker certainly earned her share of the credit. Trainer Howard Belvoir's had her aboard Wasserman virtually every morning training day over the last several years, establishing a strong relationship. You know what, I think it does help just for the simple fact I can get him to a race and know that he's on top of his game or as happy as he can be. Whitaker's always been confident when riding Wasserman, and she just lets her talent and experience combine with the horse's willingness. He has a great big will to win, and he always has, but he's learning how to do it a lot better. But the thing is, is, is as a rider, you just, I've told you before, you don't think about what you're doing, you just do what comes natural. Because if you think about what you're doing, it takes too much time in your head. As the evening moved forward, Whitaker had her turn at the podium with glib host Steve Rabel responding to his probing questions and accepting her plaque. It looks like a tremendous amount of work to hold that horse. How do you do that? You're not a very large person. None of what you do, but you're very strong, yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 2008 Post Intelligence Sports Star of the Year. She didn't take the grand prize at the banquet. That went to soccer's Hope Solo. But Whitaker's athletic accomplishments were recognized by the other nominees and newfound respect was gained. A career year topped off by the PI Sports Star Banquet, Whitaker's appreciation is widespread. Margot's gift was a great juvenile in 2007, enough to be state champion and also a stakes winner last year. Getting there. Gallant takes the lead. Margot's gift right up on the inside is flying. Margot's gift. The Doris Harwood runner takes on older foes this season and figures to be a worthy adversary in a tough division. Two year olds of 2009 were out learning early lessons. This is Buffalo Pride, a Terry Gillahan trainee, purchased at the WTBA Winter Sale. He's by Gilded Time and is the first foal out of a smart strike mare. Another juvenile is Lively Spice, trained by Tim Harder. Also out of the winter sale, this filly is by He's Tops, who's had two Emerald Downs horses of the meeting. Shot from a distance is from a distance. That's her name. 
from a distance. She's a Margot Lloyd trainee by Snowbound who was in the money two of four last summer. Opening day for season number 14 is Friday, April 17th.